Hey Sam from GMAS here today. I am going to show you the easiest way to run A B testing in Gmail. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so you probably know this already, but real quick A B testing is the process of testing two or more variations of an email to see which gets better results. It's a great way to get real empirical data on what copy works best by seeing what copy works best. For example, let's say you're hanging around downtown by yourself and you wanna see which of these subject lines leads to more opens, sex and air conditioning repair, or candy and air conditioning repair. You want an easy way to figure out which is more effective, sex or can day here. You could test it manually, compose one email to a bunch of people, send the other email to another bunch of people, figure out how you're gonna track opens, maybe with a third-party tracker or by adding pixels to each one from your web server. Then you'll collect the results and you'll process them and study them, but you don't need to go through all that or, or actually any of that. There's a much easier way you can run A-B tests in Gmail. I'm gonna walk you through the process in GMAS. So GMAS is the only way to turn Gmail into a fully functional email marketing, cold email, and mail merge platform. And with GMAS, A-B testing is super simple and fits right into your email workflow. Setting up the test in your email copy. I'll create a new campaign in Gmail and connect my Google sheet of prospects using GMAS. So you can test really with any size list, but it's best if you're working with a decent sized one in A-B testing to get those nice big juicy sample sizes. Here's my basic email and I'm going with my sex or candy debate. GMAS uses something called spin tax for A-B testing. Here you can see I'll type my variation into this email using the spin tax notation. You start by putting spin in double curly braces at the start of your test. Then you put in your first A-B test option. When that one's done, type variation and then put your second option. You can keep adding more variations for A, B, C, D, E, F, so on testing by adding more. And when you're done, type end spin. You can really put anything inside of spin tags, including mail merge tags, which I'm doing here to add the person's name. You could A-B test one variation with a name, one without. You can even include things like images. So here I'm putting one image for candy and I'm putting another one for sex. I decided to go with the bathtub motif, which has become the universal signal for this recently retired couple is about to have a night. So here are my two emails to my different sample groups and we'll see which one performs better because like the fella in the tub, we don't have room for performance issues. Sorry. Choosing A-B test settings. So now that our test copy is ready, we'll go into the GMAS settings for the campaign to set up the A-B test. Scroll down to the advanced section and check the box for A-B test. Now let's walk through these options. Percentage to send to before making a decision is where you decide on your sample size. For instance, if you choose 40% like I have here, that means 20% of your list will get one variation and 20% will get the other variation. Then the remaining 60% will get the winner. You could even choose 100% here if you want to run the test by splitting your entire list in half and then using your findings for a future campaign. Decide when is where you decide how much time to give recipients to act on your emails before you declare an A-B test winner. Decide how lets you pick whether you want to automatically send the winning variation to the remainder of your list, that 60% we talked about earlier, or if you want to manually choose. If you want to manually choose, you'll receive an email from GMAS after your testing time period is over, and you can click a link to decide which variation to send. If you pick automatic, you'll need to decide whether GMAS should pick the winner based on opens, clicks, or replies. More A-B test features. You can also A-B test messages in your auto follow-up sequences with GMAS, also using spin tags. When you send yourself a test of your campaign, GMAS will automatically send you all the A-B testing variations. A test of the tests. It's the best of the best. And even the rest will attest, not protest, that a test of the tests leaves them all quite impressed. And you'll be hard pressed not to shout out with zest that a test of the test makes us all hashtag blessed. Anyway, you can test multiple variables in one email, not just A and B. It's kind of actually what I did earlier where I was testing the subject line and copy and a picture. Now, every scientist would say isolate one variable to test. But on the other hand, you only live once. Time to start testing. A-B testing in GMAS is easy enough and so well baked into the sending process that a lot of GMAS's users A-B test literally every campaign they send. And 
Why not? Once you're good with spin tax, it takes maybe 30 seconds to set up a test, and if it leads to even a tiny bit better performance, isn't that worth it? So if you want a written version of any of the instructions I've discussed in this video, I've linked to a blog post in the description. And finally, please take a moment to hit that little subscribe button for more high-level Gmail, cold email, and email marketing strategy. Did you click subscribe? No? All right, well, I'm gonna try A-B testing. Let's see if this woos you. Man, if that doesn't work...